Listeners who didn't wish to hear about such things should turn off their radios. Welcome to Predictorama 2024, where I channel my inner Nostradamus and make a series of predictions about innovation, big tech, and the like. For this year, I provided six predictions, and so with no further ado, let's jump into prediction number one. OpenAI will launch a hardware device. As a reminder, OpenAI has become one of the most important companies in the world right now. They released ChatGPT back in late 2022 and have stayed in the headlines nonstop ever since. I mean, just last month, Time Magazine named Sam Altman their CEO of the year. And the company's influence just continues to grow at a staggering pace. That said, whenever we talk about AI, we often only focus on software, lines of code working tirelessly on some forgotten server in the middle of God knows where. And sure, that's certainly part of the game, but there's a lot more going on with these systems than meets the eye. Servers are great, but AI needs data. Lots and lots of data. So this is probably hard to believe given all the data we create every single day, but already AI companies are struggling to find new data to train their models with. Sure, data's everywhere, but accessing the right data, structured in the right way, this is a tremendous challenge. But hardware can be a real solve here because few things breed more data than physical devices. Consider your smartphone. It's not just some communication device, but rather it's a super collector of data. It's packed with more sensors than Apollo 11. It gathers location, camera, and motion data. It's essentially the world's most prolific snitch. Your phone knows the topography of your face. It can recognize your breathing patterns. It can detect emotional states better than your significant other can. It even knows how big the room you're sitting in right now is. Every interaction is scrutinized from Siri recording your voice to the Photos app analyzing every selfie with AI, every input creates more and more data. And if you add even more hardware like a health tracker and the explosion of data becomes mind boggling. And sure, it's awesome that an Apple Watch can detect if you're about to have a heart attack, but it's important to remember that that magic is enabled by a mountain of highly sensitive data all collected by hardware. From cars to connected home devices, industrial machinery to even robots, physical touch points of all kinds generate oceans of data that are crucial for the next generation of AI models. Hardware is key. Major key alert. So yeah, hardware as a way to capture more and different data is kind of a no-brainer for OpenAI. But hardware also has the potential to drive value in untapped ways. Let's talk about edge computing. Now, if you've never heard of edge computing, stay with me because this is a really simple idea and we all use it every single day. In its most simple form, edge computing allows you to process data right on a physical device without needing an internet connection. And again, we all use this all the time. For example, take your iPhone's face recognition technology that you use to unlock your phone. That can happen whether you have an internet connection or not. And so though, yeah, this can go a lot deeper, that's edge computing in its most simple form. And being able to run generative AI systems like OpenAI makes directly on a device without needing a connection, this has tons of potential. Now look, I don't wanna to get too nerdy here, but large systems like ChatGPT, they need the cloud. They need tremendous amounts of computing power and huge data sets. But edge computing, this would allow OpenAI to craft small, task-specific AI that can run directly on purpose-built devices. And there are so many applications for this. I can see this being useful for things like factory robots or in-field technicians who need to analyze real-time inputs. Open AI plus hardware. This naturally leads to industry-specific applications and real revenue potential as well. So yeah, I think Open AI is gonna get into the hardware game this year. The need for new data to train models is increasing and hardware can be a huge unlock there. And when you add to that the tremendous amount of edge opportunities with these narrowly trained AI plus purpose-built devices, and I'd be shocked if they don't get into hardware this year. We'll see. Major key alert. If you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe for more thoughts and predictions on AI innovation and design. It's going to be a real gas.